Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. Here about to go over the new features in the iOS 4 uh, software update. Just came out for iPhone and iPod Touch users. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over some of the most common that we've already seen Apple go over, and also some little little things in here that you might not know about right off the bat. Now the first thing you notice again is the, the uh, home screen wallpaper here, or the background here that I have. And so you can simply change that, go into settings and change that, and uh, go to wallpaper and choose that. And then you choose whatever image from your photo library or these stock images here. Choose that one. Now you can hit set. Now you can set it as the home screen or just the lock screen. You you know hit the power button and lock it, or set it as both. So you can do either one of those. And while we're in settings here, let's go into some other things here that are in settings and get to, before we get to the good stuff. Um, so you hit the general tab now. You can add it. You can edit the spotlight search, which is a really cool feature on here to find information as fast as possible on your phone. Whether you're looking for applications, email, anything like that, you just start typing in, it'll pop up. But now you can choose, say, if I want the video results to the pop up a little bit faster, I can put those at the top and they'll pop up at the top of the spotlight search. Or if I want to turn off video altogether in music and I just want to search for applications, contacts, podcasts, you know, that stuff, I can do that as well. That's a little bit more customization to the search. Uh, also, if you go to the network section here, You'll see now this brand new internet tethering here. Now you have to activate this on your account, either on the website or you call at t to do this. But once you do that, you simply hit that button and they'll be able to allow you to turn on and off internet tethering. And at the time of this video, the release, I don't know whether at t has already started that as of, um, as of yet. But once they do that, I'll make a separate video over internet tethering. And let's look at the passcode lock, something that, again, you may not know about. But they have an option for a simple passcode, which is basically what has always been on the iPhone. Enter in four numbers, and um, that will be your passcode to anybody that needs to get into your phone. But also, you can turn off the simple passcode now, and you turn it on. Now you can enter in letters, you can enter in uh, symbols, numbers, or whatever you want to to add a little bit more safety to your phone. This would be great for business users as well. Um, and I think that's about it as far as the settings. All right, let's get to the good stuff here. Now let's talk about the multitasking in this thing. It has really good multitasking. So you double tap on the home screen button at the bottom, and uh, now you'll be able to swipe through all these different applications that are currently running in the background. You see, I have a lot of applications open, but the phone is still running very smooth, very fast. And just for me using it for a little bit, the battery life is still pretty impressive on it. Um, we'll do another video going over that battery life. But simply, I'm going to go to the camera application just like that, tap on it, and boom, there I am. I'm right here in the camera application. And since we're here already, uh, I'm going to show you a couple new things in the camera. Now, now I'm in a video recording mode, and now the first thing you can notice is that you can always you know, do the tap to focus before you can shoot a video. Now, while you're actually recording in the video, you can do the tap to focus now as well. So right here on the fly while you're recording the video. And also, if you stop that and it's going to the, uh, just a regular picture taking mode, and um, now you do have the five time digital zoom, which jailbroken applications have had since 2007. Uh, Apple, why did it take so long to do this? I don't know. But now you can do the five time digital zoom. It does get, you know, of course, blurry since it is digital zoom, but hey, it's better than nothing in the camera application itself. But let's go back to the uh, multitasking here. Let me open up Dropbox. And you see, I'm in Dropbox right now. I'm going to go to the photo section. And so, right now, the difference between the iOS 4 compatible applications, I'm going to show you right now. So, I'm going I'm to close out of this. Now, still running the background, I'll open up CNN. And now CNN, what it's doing is connecting to the internet and it's loading up all the latest information, the latest articles or whatever. Now, if I close out of this as soon as it gets done loading, a matter of fact, no, I'm just going to go right into Dropbox. Right into Dropbox, it's right there where I left off. No loading, no nothing like that is right there where I left off. Now, if we go back to the CNN, Again, we have to go back and load and do all this stuff. And of course, this will, CNN will update this to the iOS 4, so it will be able to pop me right back to the screen right as soon as I tap on it, but that will come eventually. All right, so the, now you see here I got all these different folders down here, and the folders is the, one of the new features that will help with customizations for keeping your, your home screen a little bit more cleaner. So this is my game, my first games folder here. So if I got this game here, if I want to go ahead and tap into it, so if it go just like so, if I hit the home button, it'll take me right back into where uh, the contents of the folder is. And to simply make a folder, you simply drag, say I'm going to drag this CNN application on top of this uh, UFC application, drag and drop it like that. Now I have the brand new folder. Now it will automatically name it based upon the category, the, the, the similar categories these two applications fall into, so news. But if I wanted to rename this, I can simply type that just as that. Um, and also, if I wanted to delete an application out of the folder, I can simply tap that X or I can just drag it out of the folder like that. And also, if you want to totally get rid of the folder, and let me see here. And also, if you want to totally get rid of a folder, you can simply uh, tap on it as well. Or you have to actually move out all the application out of the folder. My bad. You actually got to move all the application out of the folder because if you tap and hold on the 
just like you would an application. It doesn't give you the option to delete a whole folder at the same time. That'll be good because you don't want to delete all those applications at once if you want paying attention. Uh, but also in the iPod now, I don't know whether I have any songs in here. I do have songs in here. Uh, but now you can also make a playlist on the fly and it's something that should have been here for a long time. Now you can add a playlist and title it and name it. Not a spotlight playlist or not a uh, genius playlist. Um, you can add a playlist on the fly here. And also, let's go to the App Store. And the one thing I'm going to show you with the App Store here, say you have a paid application like this. You can now do just like you do in iTunes. You can actually gift this application. And so now you can actually pay for the application and send it to a friend. It'll pop up on the iPhone. And um, it's a good way to share it. You know, good thing for Father's Day. If you got a dad that had an iPhone or something like that, you could have did. Well, you'll do it next year. But you can gift applications now in the App Store. And also, let's go to the Game Center, which is, I'm going to cover up my email address. All right. But here's the game center right now. My name is SKB YouTube. I think I reserved the soldier knows best one, but I can't remember. But anyway, you add me on SKB YouTube. There's nothing really going on right now. I haven't found any games or the application that worked with this yet. But this is a game center application. It's kind of like Xbox Live for your iPhone there. And we can't wait to see those those actual applications come right into play there. And also one of the new things as well, real quick, is just you can change the uh, the search options now between Google, Bing, or I believe Yahoo now. So now I have Bing search as my default. Not really my default. I'm going to change it back to Google. But just to show you that now you can use Bing as another uh, default search engine to kind of give you a little bit more flexibility as far as your searches. Uh, let's go to and let's see what else is going on here. Um, I think that's pretty much it as far as the, the, the basic and a little bit more tricky or just undiscoverable features in the new iOS 4 software update. If I find anything else new, I may make another video sequel to this video, but that's a quick rundown of all the cool things in here. I'm definitely enjoying it so far, and I'll be putting this through a battery test, and I'll, I'll test the battery out and the, the really functionality of these things, and I really can't wait to see a lot more iOS 4 applications come out. But anyway, this has been Sony News Best here. Thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.